Hello everyone, Arash Jafarzadeh here with a lesson on Microsoft Word's Mail Merge feature. It's a really awesome way to create a whole bunch of documents, certificates, letters, uh, for uh, customized for individual recipients very easily. So I'm going to walk you right through it. It's uh, pretty fun and easy to do. So the first thing we're going to need is a list of recipients. So I'm going to use Excel for that and I'm going to create a blank workbook. So we'll start off by clicking blank workbook. You can see here we have our columns, we have our rows, our cells, our formula bar, and all of our formatting options at the top. So I'm going to start off by going into my first row here and first column and I'm going to type in F name and that means first name. And I'm going to create another column called L name and these are my column headers so that way I can write the first name under here and the last name under here. Uh, you can add more here if you were going to write a letter to someone or anything like that. You can create a little you know, Excel database where you're holding you know, address, phone number, city, state, zip, all that good stuff. But for this lesson I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and bold this entire row by clicking right over here on the number one and that highlights the entire row. I'm going to go over here to the B for bold and that's just so that it looks easier, it looks nicer and uh, visually I can tell that that's my header row. Underneath that I'm going to go ahead and start writing some names. So we can write Sarah Johnson, I'll write my own name in there, Arash Jafarzadeh. Uh, Bob Rankinson. Is that a real name? I don't know. So I'm going to keep going here and I'll pause the video and you can try this on your own as well. Okay, so now I'm back. I added some more names in here. I have a list of 10 students here. Uh, you can. The cool thing about this is you can take these names if you have, let's say you're a teacher and you have a grade book and you already are storing your student names in an Excel worksheet. You can use that. Uh, you can create this you know at the beginning of the year or I mean there's a lot of applications and I'm sure you can be creative with that so think about that as we move forward but in any case I have my names here I'm gonna go ahead and save this onto my computer so I go to file and save as I'm gonna go ahead and select computer we'll save it in my documents and I'll call this my sample list so I'll remember that for later click save and we're done here. I'm done with Excel. There's nothing really, nothing else I really need to do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and close Excel and go on to Microsoft Word, which I've already opened. Now I can create a blank document or a cool thing I can do, let's say I want to create a list of certificates for my students. So I'm just going to type in certificate in here and see what Microsoft Word has for me in their online database. And you can see they have a whole bunch of certificates here. Uh, looks really great. So I'm going to say I'm going to use um, most inspirational player. That looks cool. Let's use that one. So I'll open that guy there. And while this is loading, you can also use this. Let's say you want to write letters to your students, or um, you can use it so that it exports uh, report cards, all kinds of cool things you can do with it. So I'll leave that to you. All right, so here we go. We got most inspirational player. I can always change this if I wanted to. You can see here it says recipient name. Uh, here it says team name. So I'll just say, you know, Mustangs, school I teach at. So we got Mustangs and then printed, presented by. And the cool thing is, in the previous lessons, I taught you how you can insert images. So if you were to take a uh, sign a piece of paper and scan that picture of your signature you can actually insert that here as well so that's kinda cool um, and then that way you don't have to keep signing each paper or I can just write my own name there too uh, over here it says on this day I'm gonna go ahead and choose the date today so it has a little menu for me where I can choose that from I'll let's say I'm gonna give that tomorrow and uh, everything else looks good so now I want my student names to be in here. So how can I do that? Well, first thing, we're going to delete what it says there and leave a blank area. Then I'm going to go up here to the top where it says mailings and select mailings. Under mailings, I'm going to look where it says uh, start mail merge. Now I don't really need to click this 
but you could you can click start letters but it already has everything you need so you can ignore that step and go straight here if you were going to make envelopes or make email messages things like that uh, you would select labels or whatever you wanted to do because it's going to walk you through a different step but in my case because I already have the document here that I want to perform the mail merge with I don't need to select anything here if I did choose this it would ask me if I want to create a new document which in this case I don't I want to use this document so I don't need to do anything with that I'll go right here to select recipients when I click this I go to use existing list because I already created one I could have also created a list right here, but I would recommend using an existing list because if you have the Excel document, you can always go back to it and do other things with it too. So I'm going to go here to my documents library, which is where I stored that list. You can see here my sample list shows up. I'm going to double click on it or click it, single click it and click open. And in here, it's going to ask me which sheet I want to use. Now I didn't show you on the previous screen but we were on sheet number one some Excel programs will create other sheets automatically but that first sheet that you see is always sheet one so I'm gonna select that and click OK so now that I've done that I'm gonna go ahead and look back up here and you can see I can edit my recipient list if I wanted to which I'm not going to but if I wanted to I can click it and you can see in here it's from my sample list dot XLSX and in here I have all of my student names listed for me um, and I can change it or take students that I don't want off of it or put them back on so usually I do all this stuff you know myself I, I do it inside Excel I prepare it in Excel then I start working on it here but you know in a pinch you can make changes here as well okay so we don't need to do anything with that I'm gonna go straight over here ignore all that go right here where it says insert merge field and I'm going to click the little link and, or the little pull down menu and press F name. And before I do that, let me go back. See where this the uh, cursor is? It's going to insert that merge field right there. So I'm going to press F name and you can see it says F name there. And then I'm going to press the space bar on my keyboard because I want it to say the first name, space, and then the last name. So I'm going to insert another merge field and put L name. Now it says F name, L name. Now when I go up here and I click preview results you can see here I have Yu Han Liu and if I go forward the next record is Jennifer Diaz if I go backwards I can go to the first one on the list Arash Jafar Zadi, I was the second one so you can see all the names are on here now this is the preview mode if I want to go back and make changes I un uh, yeah, I click preview results again to uncheck it and now I go back to the original view after you're done and you're happy with the results you can go over here to finish and merge and in here I have a few options I can send this as an email which I don't want to do I can print them if I click print it'll print all the documents in fact I'll click it right now you can take a look it's gonna ask me which records I want to print so right now it's on record one and let me cancel that and show you record one was Sarah Johnson so if I go back in here and click print documents and I was to set current record it would only print Sarah's um, certificate if it was on my certificate and I go to finish and merge print documents it's going to if I click current record it'll print mine if I click from one and until three it'll print out the first second and third people on that list so some cool features there um, and it goes without saying but if I set it to all it'll print all the people on my list all 10 students the other option you have let's say you want to customize these a little bit for each player so I can go here to finish and merge and click edit individual documents and it's going to create a new document for me I get the same options here I'm going to select all click OK and here's a new document and in here it says page one of two but I think it's still there it goes page one of ten so this is the first page of ten let me close this here and you can see if I scroll down I have a certificate for each of my players and now that I've done this I can go in here and you know add an extra notation you've also learned that you can insert text boxes so I can go here to insert select text box and click sample text box and add another text box here 
Now you can see it moved things around because I did that. So I would go over here to the um, layout options and choose uh, tight or square. And um, that way I can text wrap it or I can put it on top of text, in front of text. So it won't mess my formatting up. And then I can write some extra information in here just for this person, just for Bob. So that's kind of something kind of interesting you can do as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, before I stop the lesson, a couple of tips for you, just so you know what just happened. When I said I wanted to uh, edit the individual uh, certificates, I now have two documents open. I have letters one, which is all of the letters combined. It's the document it created. And I also have the original document, which is just the one page that's linked to my Excel worksheet. So this is the important one that you want to save if you plan on using this again. So I would go to File, Save As. I'm going to choose my Documents folder once again. And I'll just call this, you know, My Certificates. Or just My Certs is fine. Click Save there. And that's it. It's saved. And I can close it. This document is the exported list. So I don't necessarily need to save it unless you want to. You can always re-export it. But if you made a lot of changes to the individual documents, then that's an option for you to save this. But in my case, I don't really want to. So I'm going to not save. I'll say don't save on that one. Now, if I wanted to open it again, I can go here to Word again, open it up, and I'll show you something that might you might come across. I'm going to go over here to the recent documents here. There's my certs. It's going to give a little pop-up to me, and it's going to ask me, opening this document will run the following SQL command. SQL is a database, and even though we saved our uh, worksheet as an Excel worksheet, it's treating it as a database. And this is the command it's running. Now, uh, you don't have to worry too much, but this basically means it's going to select all of the items uh, from that sheet that you had. So don't worry about that, but if you wanted to know what that means, that's what it's saying. And it's going to ask, it's going to take data from that database and place it in my document. Do I want to continue? So I want to say yes, I do want it to connect to that database. So I'm going to say yes, and it will reconnect. So just remember that if you see that opening up or that little pop-up when you try to reopen your document, don't freak out. That's actually normal. It's just checking with you to make sure that it is okay. So uh, my word is crashing, but you should see the certificate. There it is in just a second. So there you have it. Um, think of cool ways you can use that. I've used this to export letters before. I've used it for grading, certificates, all kinds of things that you can customize for um, friends, family, and, uh, and students so alike. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And I'll see you at the next video.